Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. Today we have a request. Somebody sent us this video. Is a couple of people that became certified kind of rapidly. And then they went diving on a deep wreck. And apparently they had a terrifying experience. I don't know. I haven't seen the video. Hmm. But we should we should check it out. Terrifying wreck experience. That's what it's... That's oh. what the title of the video is. I will say though... That this is not their entire video. This is just the scuba portion of it. All right. They also do like like a vlog style, like daily. Like here's what we're doing during the day or whatever. So there's some portions of the video that were not covered. If you want to see the entire video, the comment is in the description. Always leave the comment to the original video in the description. Also, if you don't want to hear our perspective, right? Some yeah. people click on our videos and then they don't want to hear us, which is kind of odd. Yeah. You remember I told you I don't like to look like a tourist? Mm. I'm just saying this hat, you know, when we do our trip. You definitely don't look like a tourist. Yeah, that, that, that was my goal. Perfect. Okay. My name is Colby Brock. If you're watching this, it means I'm dead. All right. That's... Dude, you're sitting right next to me. Whatever. But seriously, this is the closest we've ever come to dying in a video. I have like a weird anxiety about freaking out underwater and not being able to control a situation. I have never seen Colby oh, this scared in my life over any video. So guys, keep watching. I think it's this healthy when, insane. when I think it's healthy when people admit that they potentially have a fear like that. It yeah. makes them to respect the process of training and getting certified. That's right. So far, respectable. Here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to complete an advanced scuba dive training all within five days. That's a lot because, Hi. well, well, I, I don't want to say any certification agency, but my, my first reaction is I think in order to get a title of advance, it yeah. should be based on experience. Right. Right. Because you know, you learn way more from actually diving than you do just from the initial classes. Right. So, so what I don't Woody, know about well, that. What he's talking about is when you get certified, for those of you who are not divers, when you get certified, there's a bunch of agencies out there that can certify you. And even though they're all part of the WRSTC or the World Recreational Scuba Organization, that one, training something, something. Train, training something um, they're all part of the same organization, meaning they have to teach kind of the same skills in order to qualify their people as, a, as an open water scuba diver, they all take different approaches as to different levels of certification for divers. They all kind of have the same naming conventions like advanced master, you know, dive master. They have, they all kind of have the same names, but the requirements to accomplish each one of them are different depending on the agency. Yeah. But if somebody on a boat sat next to you, Mm -hmm. and they asked, hey, you know, I'm here alone, and I'd like to be your dive buddy. First of all, you and I are great about, sure. You Absolutely. Know, tell, but we will probably say, tell us a little you know, bit about your diving experiences or whatever. Diving, yeah. And I'd be like, well, you know, I'm an advanced diver. Um, I have nine dives. Yeah. What Immediately, what are you going to do? I mean, in your mind, nine well, dives total. Yeah. I mean, and that is a, a point of discussion, and I think what Dive Talk is about, and this could be its own episode because – it is true, right? Is if you think about any skill, would you say anyone is advanced at anything after nine times doing that thing? Underwater, where we're not supposed to be. Come on, it, it, right? I'm just but saying, at but the same time, because, but at the same time, there's other agencies that have. So okay, so like advanced diver for SSI, which is a competing agency, is 24 dives. Does anyone with 24 dive consider advanced? Like I think we can we can make a argument either way but i think the patty way to do things which is the biggest agency that you can have less than 10 dives and three days of experience and be considered an advanced diver is laughable in my opinion that's why i asked by the end of the week we're gonna go to depths that humans can only last a few minutes before like deadly or long-term side effects happen to your body. At what? What are they it, doing? Are they like 400 cold. feet? 100 feet. Oh, no. no, no. Then what he said, no. I, I would not agree with what he said. <laughs> right. That's an exaggeration. Yeah, if it's 100 feet, right. I'm not minimizing 100 feet. You can right. absolutely quickly build up deco Right. And have to come up slowly and go outside of the no decompression limits at 100 feet. But right. 
He said, he said like minutes. But you have minutes feet. or you can have, you can be dead. Well, minutes. I mean, a, a good number. I mean, I don't think you're going to suck down your 80 cubic foot tank that quickly at 80. At well, and feet. even, even if you're thinking about NDL, which is probably what he's thinking, no decompression limit diving, which is diving without a decompression required stop. It's it was probably like ten minutes at a hundred feet. Yeah, that yeah, sounds like depends what you're breathing, but yeah. you are breathing. You know, a hundred feet is approximately four atmospheres, which means you're breathing your gas four times faster Correct. per breath than you would at the surface. That's so, right. okay, but the NDL uh, at a hundred feet is like ten minutes. It's got to be like ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, I plus. think yeah, 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 something like on air. I think on air. Yeah, yeah. nitrox. It's more. You right. go up too fast, your lungs could basically like explode. And although I am extremely scared of this, you I truly your have yeah. never seen Colby this scared in my life over any video. I've realized it's becoming a lot more real now. We've had all these ideas on paper, but as soon as you start actually executing it, it's like, whoa, this is happening. Yeah, like I have cool like voice. a weird anxiety about like freaking out underwater and not being able to like control a situation and obviously when you're a hundred feet down you're basically stuck down there if we are like a hundred feet down and there is like a panic of some sort let's say i'm going to throw up yeah. like what how do you i have been in dives with people that feel nauseous and they puke through their regulator perch sure so clean it put it back in their mouth within two seconds all the fish ate everything up <laughs> you're good to go <laughs> that's I feel true that there's panic I'm gonna be right here with you. I'm gonna be looking at you. I'm gonna remind you it's to breathe. Strap. That's very You're good. You're not gonna be alone. See, just hearing that already made me feel so much better. Excellent. That you can throw up now? Yes. I think I love her. You think you love her? <laughs> <laughs> that does happen. People fall in love with their scuba instructors. Yeah. Yeah, we might look calm, but I'm not gonna lie. Kobe and I were shitting ourselves. This would be our first legit dive in open water. It is nerve-wracking for the first time buy, people are diving. The water is still freezing. That's nice right. Good. And the instructor was in first, so she's in the water before her students, you know, and cheering them on. Excellent. So far, so good. They have a downline. First open water dive. So open water dive one. And Off you, training, not certified. And you should have a downline, a yep. line that goes to the bottom. And they do. What I Use, don't understand is why they have weight pockets, but they're using weight belts. That's Do they have weight pockets? I, I yeah. can't see that. Yeah, you can see them on the BCD. I mean, weight belts are a pain to deal with. I mean, you, if you have to use them, you use them, but you prefer not to. Definitely. Looks like steel tanks also. Could be wrong, but it looked like it. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably That's aluminum. aluminum. I have like a weird anxiety. That's great. Freaking out underwater, not being Good. able to like control. Looks super situation. shallow. You're basically stuck down. down. You've been thinking about this a lot. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's all good stuff. Very exciting. Not crazy about the kneeling on the My bottom. Mind but would immediately be like, where's the exit? Like, how do I get out? Replacing your regulator, clearing it. Up? You understand? How do I do it? Good. I don't know, it's nerve wracking. It like brings me back to when I was 14 being like, what if I do throw up? Right off the bat, Kayleen told us that we we're gonna have to watch out for Colby's air intake underwater. Yeah, I guess I really just suck at breathing. Oh. 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 Pretty it's okay. Hey, good job. Nobody likes taking their mask off for the first time. Nope. High five. Nailed Congrats. It. Good job. Nobody's up. Nobody's holding their inflator up. That could be proof, but they did good. Let's go! Come on. Come on. Give it, give it to us straight. They did fucking amazing. They did great. I agree. First Dive one. Give them to me. How did it feel? I think it was really hard to, like, 
like in the pool it was way easier to blow out of your nose but in the salt water it was harder for me to do that in my mask. Interesting. Out of when air. we did the whole mask like air. techniques and stuff, like I could still obviously breathe through the Well, they're using the alternate. Like, breathing out of my that's nose acceptable. Like way harder for me. I, I, get control the, where I would I'm like going. to sit and hold the BC. I was flying up and down <laughs> sideways. Uh -oh. I was like, yeah. one time I was at the surface, I was like, how the yeah. fuck did yeah. I get yeah. the yeah. surface? I just want you guys to practice controlling of your body and following me trying to stay at my level and, you know, yes. just kind of being aware. So you're not supposed to pee in your wetsuit, right? She's very good. Yeah. She's doing a great job. I was talking to Kayleen, and By I overheard way, her that talking fish that you see right the there? that scuba really isn't a physical activity. Just a backstory. That fish, it's Orange Depot Orange, is what motivated the creation of the Georgia Aquarium. You know yeah, that story? Yeah, yeah. He saw that fish in Catalina Island, and he was like, huh, I should make an aquarium. Yep. Mr. Uh, what's it? What's his name? Bernie Mark Marcus. Bernie Marcus. Yeah. More Pretty like awesome. a mental one. And as soon as you, I was going to comment that I'm impressed on their mind, trim and, and buoyancy. Like it's dive too. Calm and comfortable underwater. Yeah. You're fine. Kelp. Anybody in the world can do scuba diving, no matter like what size you are, who you are, doesn't matter. If you can get over those mental obstacles, it's like all about conquering what's up here. That's it's not true. like That's right, just Colby. about Good this job. activity. It's way deeper than that. Look how they're not using their hands. I mean, this is dive three. Yeah. D just dive keep two, it in perspective. No, now it's a dive three. Okay. And they're not, you don't see them doing all that and all that. They're doing a really good job for yeah. it. I mean, it's dive three in the open water. They're picking it up. This Pretty good. Cameraman. Looks like. I feel like we'll learn the sport, but it'll teach us to be calm under pressure, relax. Can you like do three dives on the pad? Panic. Yeah, you could okay. do three training dives in one day. Okay. So that's why they did three and yeah. dive day one is complete. Maximum is three training dives. Same with SSI. So they'll probably finish tomorrow. You can like do your biggest fear. Once you're able to actually overcome those mental obstacles, you feel so much better about yourself. And like you, it's just like a way to tell yourself like, oh, I can handle anything. If I could handle that, I got this. Casino. What's that building? Guys, this island casino? looks like a ghost town. Honestly, it's too there's small no to one here. Maybe it's freezing. I don't know if you can see the, the clouds and everything, but it looks like there's about to be a storm, which is not good. It's perfect for scuba diving. What are you talking about? So, good news, bad news. Good news is we found out that tomorrow we're going to explore a whole abandoned shipwreck underwater and it's going to be amazing. The bad news is we can't do a wreck dive, like a shipwreck dive, without being advanced certified. That means we have to finish the rest of the entire course today. Wow, it's about to have a tsunami storm out here. I guess the I academics. Not doing okay. Not man. doing okay. Not doing okay. For the most part, the first dive went pretty well. But even getting in and out of the water, the waves tossed us around like it was nothing. That's a little unusual now. I, dive four at 80 feet is <clears throat> Sounds most, deep. Yeah, most agencies, I can't, I don't know if there's any that allow you to go deeper than 60 feet during your certification. You're open water, you're basically open water certified, which means you're certified to go to a maximum depth of 60 feet. So. Not crazy that they're at 80. It's probably a standard. You know, violation. I never, I never, uh, I don't know if I understand the whole thing when I, when I was getting certified that e everything tells you about 130. So 40 meters, everything talks about going to up to 130, 130, but then you get certified and they tell you 60. So it, what was that about? Uh, I think that the open water certification is maximum of 60 because mm. of the, time you have which is pretty considerable before you'll hit your ndl your no decompression limit where at a, at a most people start to feel narked they claim some people will feel it below 60 feet that's how they came up with 60 was due mm -hmm. to narcolism but most people will feel it from 100 feet and deeper so right. they're saying so so the agencies define deep as below 60 because of narc potentially the effects of being narc narcosis. Yeah. yeah. And the time. So this next dive, we are 60 actually going to go like 120 meters, 
feet on our deep deepest dive. Isn't that be terrifying? Right. I guess they're in yeah. a class, though. You go but too I guess deep so. in the water, you're gonna start feeling drunk. Not sure why that happened. Oh, it's because the nitrogen bubbles. So I think for Patty, I I I never got certified. I didn't get certified through Patty. I do have some Patty certifications, but not my open water. Um, I think with Patty, if you do advanced, you have to do one dive of each, and one of them is deep dive. That's right. So that's probably what they're doing. Is they're doing so their advanced do, class. Yeah, you have to do five. Yeah. Specialties, the first dive of each of those specialties, right. of which one does have to be the deep right. class. In your body, that in play. We have a little fun exercise we're going to do where we do some math up here, and then we're going to try it 100 feet down and see if like it takes yeah. us longer or if we're just dumb and can't figure out how to do it. Yeah it's, yeah, it's okay. The deeper you go, the dumber you get. 5 times 6, 30, plus 1, 31. That's cool. One hundred plus. How's the math going? This was our deepest dive. And while we were doing our underwater math problems, not only did that gas narcosis, the whole drunk feeling start to set in, but this was also when I realized that Colby was very low on air. So the other student realized nothing struck there? I, I don't think that's right. It was on the ascent that things started to fall apart. I was kicking up so hard but not going anywhere. At this point, I had to switch to Kayleen's tank. And the horrifying part was, it was five minutes to the surface, but we only had three minutes left of air. How do you know? Wait a second. I'm confused on that. Why Why did he say they only have three minutes left within their no decompression limit? Or no, he is he assuming that they're going to run out of air? He said there's five minutes to the surface. So they were like a hundred and something feet, which is still not five minutes. But let's say they're going slower. So let's say you do a 60 foot per minute ascent, not a 30 foot. Let's say you're right. going fast. Yeah. 60 then foot. Then it's less than two minutes to the surface. But all right. Let's I'm say they're going slow. But then, the, but then the other part is that he said it's five minutes to the surface, which I don't know why they're going that slow if you have an emergency. But number two, we only have three minutes of air. How do you know that? That's I don't I don't know. Yeah, it's impossible to know that. I, like even if you see okay, you have X amount of psi's or bar. Like how do you in your head super fast calculate? Okay, my sac rate yeah. is this, my ascent rate is that. Three. All right. Well, I mean, we're clear. being hypercritical. He's a new diver, so he just I, know, I don't. I mean, know. It he's, makes adding, no sense. he's adding to the story. It makes no sense. The guy with the other regulator, nor the guy is holding her. No. Oh. That's not good. Nope. But I think that one guy was sinking, and maybe that's why she's holding his hand. I'm not sure. He's holding yeah, the but still. He's holding the line. He's holding the uh, the uh, anchor line. So the reason why we say you should now be... inflate. Shh. I would love to yep. see her reach over and inflate. Inflate. Nope. Maybe you don't need to. Maybe you did. The reason why we say they're not hanging on to each other and it's just the regulator is that the regulator can come loose, right? Because a wave comes or whatever, they come apart. And one thing that happened to me once, I was sharing air with a student and the mouthpiece in the regulator came apart. So I had the mouthpiece in my mouth and the regulator went away. <laughs> You're breathing water. And I was breathing water. <laughs> so, yeah. You want to hang on to each other. What's up, guys? We, uh... Actually, just had to wrap up scuba diving early. I'm not gonna say exactly what happened, um, but we did kind of fuck up big time. Apparently, we did run out of air. We had to make kind of a rapid ascent. We went up too fast and didn't do like all the safety procedures that you need to do 
while scuba diving and so like panic kind of set in a couple people Work started panicking in no way shape or form was it our instructor's fault we just really screwed up it was a big learning experience well because we didn't like do it properly we basically had to cut it for the day but just wanted to let you guys know that we are damn instagram cut me off but just wanted to let you guys know that this situation made us a lot more experienced and confident and i think that's what 25 by 25 is all about so i would say today was an actual success and i'm excited we'll keep you updated but pretty crazy, crazy. okay today is the day this is what we've been waiting for what we've been training Three days for later. all the anxiety all the right successful guy. and failed they're almost advanced we've had recently not to right now today we are going to be exploring two abandoned shipwrecks at between 60 and 100 feet below there has been people that have actually died diving this wreck before how so. does that make oh. you feel great we're pretty dang nervous really? but this will be a good test to see if we did actually learn something this last week trying to stay calm Nervous but excited. That is important. You're more than ready. I didn't sleep last night because I was so nervous, but it's okay, guys. We're going to get through this. Yeah, just oh. relax. Ooh. There's the tail. Oh. How cool is that? Oh. Beautiful. Yes. We're diving. Oh. 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 25 by 25. Are you ready to go and swap? Let's go. Dude, he's hyping them up. Good. He's like, let's go. After all the anxiety, it. all the training, dive number this six was the moment we've been working towards. This is it, the oh. Yukon shipwreck. Lying all the way to the wreck. Love that. She's looking at them. She's very focused on her students. Hundred feet at the bottom. Thirty meters. Sure about the dramatic music, <laughs> or why? But should be like a reggae music. Yeah. Full flag. Loving it. Yeah. All good. So What's with the uh, drama? I don't know. Went pretty well. Yeah. They had a blast. Oh, they're gonna do another one. It was a double dipper. So this would be less time they have, right? Because they had a. Second right dive, so. For a final dive, Kayleen challenged us to swim through the shipwreck. It's fine, you can do a swim through. Depending on the distance and whether you can see the both entrances. You have to have the total visibility and you should, two divers should be able to go in and out. And out. Yeah. I'm happy for him. Good job, bro. Good, we did it. Good job. Yeah. Not one, but two shipwreck dives. It's not like a weight lifted off my shoulders. It's more like I did it. Yeah. It's like hell yeah. I, I don't do it again. Yeah. See any criticism? A lot of crazy challenges I mean, we want to do this year, but this through, one, as far as wreck, fear goes, okay. was yeah. on the top of the list. Yeah. But then, like exactly. after a few but days of training, but there's distances, right? I uh, just stop it really quick. There's distances on how long the swim through can be. Yes, I, I don't remember with the different agencies, but there are distances, and there are light to light, and that two the entrance must be big enough for two divers to go in and out of at the same time. Yeah, but there's depth too. Like you can't depth. just go yeah. down to 130 feet or 40 meters and then do a 30 feet or 10 meter yep. swim through. You. You can because then you're more than 130 feet from the exit. If you're in the middle of the swim through, you have to swim out and then up. So if can... it's in your open water class, there's those distances that you're thinking about for right. a swim through. If right. you're in a rec advanced class, it's different. It goes up higher, it, it, bigger swim throughs. You can never be in Depends a situation where you can't see that exit is most of the agency's rules in the non-open water class right in the advanced class so as long as you can see the swim through on you you're, you can go right that's the rule for yeah, the most part going 
inside shipwrecks and underneath things. Yeah. Like, that was sick. Yeah. That was awesome. And you know what's crazy? The two months of anxiety and stress all up here, and if you can learn how to control that, that's like really what scuba diving taught me. Sometimes facing your biggest fears can give you like the best experiences. So yeah, thank you so much, yes. Kayleen. It was amazing. I was Oh, yeah. You being our instructor has like made this video because you're so like gung ho about life and just happy to be here. We She's only awesome. Have one life. Let's enjoy it. Yes. Right? Exactly. We have no time to lose. Oh, I That's, agree with her. Here's to number 23. We'll Woo! see you guys next time. Adios. Awesome. She, she's a really good instructor. Yeah, she did great. She really is. She really cared about her students. You know, yeah, we saw one moment where the reg was in his mouth. She could have probably put her arm around and held him around the downline and held him at the same time. But for the most part, she was really on top of her students. So. Yeah. Yeah. She did great. And they did great as well. Um, again, I like, I understand. Look, I understand this is YouTube. I understand you need to sell clicks or views or whatever. So yeah. you want to add that drama and right. the whole like, da, you da, know, da, da, da. make a tiny mistake and you're dead. Right. Like, uh, scuba is not like that. It's, it's, of course, dangerous. That's another thing people comment is like, you guys make it sound like it's impossible to die if scuba diving. No, you can die. You can drown. You can, you know, there's problems, but it's also, I don't want it to make it sound, I don't want it to sound like, you should never try it because it's so dangerous. It's not. How many million scuba dives do you think happen every day around the world? Phew. Millions and millions Gotta be. and millions. Got to be. Yeah. So uh, it is a safe activity if you get certified, follow your training, and follow proper procedure. Yeah. And, I, and one thing I've said on multiple videos is that as you get more advanced – both as professionals or even advanced divers, don't forget what seems non-adventurous to you or non-scary to you. In their mind, in their eyes, this is, I'm, I could, I'm going to die, right? Because it's, they're brand new. So from their perspective, that was super terrifying. We're going to go in through a wreck, swim through, and there could be a little murkiness. It's scary. Yeah. Right. For you right now, you you know, you're doing the Grand Traverse at Peacock. <laughs> so it's not going to feel like a big deal to you. Right. But remember where people are. Of That's course. all I'm saying. Of course. And I think you do. I'm not lecturing you. I'm saying all of us need yeah. to remember that. So uh, it was a cool video. It was a cool video. And right off the back, I mean, you came in and you, you started commenting on it and, and, you know, kind of giving your reaction, which is what people come here to see. Which is interesting because there was one video where there was a wreck involved and there were, you know, new-ish divers inside the wreck and you decided not to react for like three minutes straight. That was mm. a weird, weird situation. And in case yeah. people haven't seen it, I'm going to leave it right here. Do you think Woody is able to not talk for three minutes straight? Oh, and the video, the video really needed your input. I mean, I, I was, <laughs> it's like withdrawals just thinking about that. I can't. Yeah, say something that was amazing i remember that yeah absolutely That's so funny. check it out and uh enjoy that one <laughs> bye everybody